This is Gerardo Del Real with Digest Publishing here at the 2022 Beaver Creek Precious Metal Summit. Joining me today is the CEO of Gold Mining Inc., Mr. Alistair Still, and the VP of Exploration of Gold Mining Inc., Mr. Tim Smith. Gentlemen, how are you today? Very well. Great. Yeah, great to be here again. Thanks for having us, Gerardo. The timing is excellent. Um, you had some spectacular news this morning um, out of Colombia. I believe you drilled into something like 431 meters of 0.73 grams per ton gold equivalent. Is that accurate? Spot on. That's exactly right. And I think it's an exciting time because I think back to a year ago when we were chatting here, Gerardo, and we we're talking about all the catalysts that were coming up for Gold Mining Inc. And it's so refreshing a year later to be able to update people on those things. And of course, the drilling in Colombia at our La Mina project is very exciting. It's our first drill program. We've completed that now. We announced those very exciting results this morning. Uh, that's building upon a, a mineralized porphyry system, which we think can grow into a new resource. We're going to start that resource work later this year. We still have one more hole to release. We're excited about that hole. That should come out in the next week or two. We've also announced uh, plans to uh, have a new joint venture partner on our project in Idaho with Almaden Resources. We crystallize good value there. And the big news, and Tim can provide further information on too, is we've taken the exciting step of taking our, our Whistler project in Alaska and we're preparing that into a new company called U.S. Gold Mining Inc. Very excited about that. Very excited to be ready to launch that publicly. Tim, I know that's a project you absolutely love and I want to talk about why, but I have to commend the team at Gold Mining because if there was ever a criticism from me about the company, it was that the company was amazing at executing and buying ounces for pennies on the dollar, far cheaper than you could discover them. And I think Amir and the team at Gold Mining did a brilliant job of executing that during a brutal bear market. You now have a resource base that, you know, on a peer to peer basis in the junior space is not really matched, right? Exactly. But the one critique that I always had was, when are we going to see if these deposits can grow? When are we going to see, you know, studies around economics and potential economics? And I have to give it to you, gentlemen, this this 2022 has been, I think, the busiest year with the drill bit for gold mining. And it sounds like, Tim, 2023 might surpass it. We've got big plans going forwards for sure. You know, we're moving into harvest mode here. Amazing portfolio across the Americas. Uh, and yes, to go back to Whistler, especially excited about Whistler, we see the spin out of, of US gold mining as we announced back in February is a, a great way to unlock value on that particular asset. It's a big porphyry, just 100 miles uh, northwest of uh, Anchorage. It's the closest big project to Anchorage. And one of the major catalysts there is that the government has started funding uh, a study into a roads resources program. So that's gonna lead us into that project and, and, and help us catalyze the advancement of that project going forwards. You mentioned big plans for 2023. Alistair, how do you see it shaping up? Well, I think uh, 2023 really builds upon what we've done in 2022. I think we've done a few key steps. And as you say, we've got this great foundational base of resources picked up for basically pennies on the dollar, very opportune moments. And now it's about unlocking value in that portfolio. That's exactly what we're going to do going forward. U.S. Gold Mining Inc. in Worcester plays a big piece of that. So stay tuned this fall. That will build upon a launch as we go into 2023 for major activities on the project. We're going to continue on our studies. This uh, drilling we've announced this morning at La Mina, very exciting results that builds upon a new resource that will lead into an update of the PEA. We started our first PEA on La Mina earlier this year. It showed very good economics, 340 million NAV, good solid returns. And now we're growing that. So we'll see uh, developments on that. And of course, keep uh, keep an eye out for more on the JVs. We, we really like the model of some of our non-core assets finding someone who can do work on them, advance those projects along. And again, part of that strategy, we want to keep delivering value from this extensive portfolio in the Americas. Firing on all fronts, ladies and gentlemen. Tim, Alistair, thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Thanks, Gerardo.